Alrighty guys, it's part two. I might talk for an hour or I might make a full three uh one 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 hour and like forty minute video. Just see how much I'll see how much energy I have after this part. I might shut the camera off after two parts or I might make a full a full 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 one hour and forty minute video. There's nothing to do at, uh, in the house. Honestly. Yeah, my company will be top notch, guys. Oh, he looks like an unheard of. A luxury studio film office. My office, my film studio office, will be smaller than Sky than, than, than the Disney novels company. Disney has a huge fucking like a big like massive building. I'm not gonna have a big crazy building. No, my studio office will be will be pretty small because I only have like a seven team. But it'll be better quality than the Hollywood companies. I'm gonna own a nicer office than Bob Chapek, Bob Iger. Well, Bob Chapek got fired. Don't hate me, John. Uh, Bob, Bob, Bob Chapek. A nicer office than Bob Iger and 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 and, and what? And David, I'm gonna own a nicer office than all those guys. And those guys have very nice offices. I saw some of their office pictures behind the scenes. They have nice offices, but it's not as nice as my my office. Well, my office will be smaller than the Disney uh, and Warner Bros. Um, office office, but it's more top quality. It's a better quality. My company is, is better in quality than all these companies. I'm going to own a grand commercial look alike property. Something beautiful, yeah. So beautiful that when all the actors and Peter Jackson see my property, they're like, holy shit, this is nice. Ivan owns all this. I and VJ own this big ass fucking company. It's nicer than even these Hollywood, Hollywood, these big corporation studio film companies in Hollywood. Yeah, nicer than all those, those, those studios, offices. Yeah, man. Something unheard of. It was something nice. Something very nice, yeah, man. Yeah. That's why Peter will not want to leave my company. After he does, after he does things, he's going to beg Ivan, man, I want to work for you with the rest of my life. I don't want to work in Hollywood, man. Your company is so much better in Hollywood, man. I don't want to go back to Hollywood, Ivan. I just want to work for you. I'm like, Peter, I know you do, but it's not fair to the directors. You're not good for the Grey Escape. You're not good for the Matrix. You're not good for the Matrix. Which brings me to my next discussion, obviously. I'm going to talk about the Matrix. So w once I meet VJ in, in Los Angeles, obviously, you know, and we go to Vancouver, and you know I'm saying? We have a good time, obviously. I'm going to have that talk with VJ. VJ, I want to do Last of Us Aliens based off my book. And after that, I'm thinking of either doing a Matrix trilogy or do my four movies. What what do you prefer? Do you, do you think it's better if we do the Matrix, the three Matrix movies, or do you think it's better that I do the Grey Escape, the Ah, oh, Ivan, that's tough. The good thing about doing the four movies, Ivan, is you have more ver variability. You're doing diff all these different genre kind of movies. But at the same time, I also want to do that Matrix trilogy, Ivan. It's fucking cool to see you as the one kicking ass. And I'm the love of your life. Yeah, I mean, you'll be loving my life in the movie, obviously. But I mean, if, if to do matrix, we have to purchase the rights off Warner Bros. Yeah, we have to do. We have to make all these calls, man, to David Zaslav. And David Zaslav might, might not be interested in selling off the brand rights. I'm saying, because I read an interview like a couple weeks ago that David Zaslav said he's not interested in selling anything and selling off anything in Warner Bros. I heard. No, he said he's not interested in selling off Warner Bros. The fact that he said that, chances are he might not be interested in selling off the matrix brand. I'm saying, according to the news I read online. You see what I'm saying? Huh? Hence, I don't know. Okay, look, man. If David Zazzler's not interested in off the Matrix brand, it's all right. I'll just do the four movies. It's not a big deal. I can do their unique. I have not want to do that romance story so bad with you, Ivan. She, yeah, because Vijay wants to do their unique with me badly, too. You look at an amazing story for that story. They're unique. She wants to do the great escape with Canary Zone, too. Yeah, an amazing story like that. Yeah, I'll instant couple on the run. But the, but the, the great escape will not be as good as the Matrix. I'm saying, huh? it's cool seeing me as a, as a one kicking ass and seeing me as a secret agent. I'm saying, huh? which brings me to the discussion of the Matrix. So if I end up choosing to do the Matrix trilogy, you don't have any calories. If I end up choosing, if I choose to do the Matrix trilogy over the for the four movies, I'm going to give Warner Bros. a call. Hey, this is Ivan and Mary and Victoria Justice. We're the CEOs of Sky Source. We're the co-founders of Sky Source. We're calling to let you know that we're interested in purchasing one of your IPs, IP brands. Oh, uh, okay, Ivan, VJ, what, what IP are you thinking of purchasing? Yeah, we're thinking of purchasing your Matrix franchise. Our Matrix franchise? But yeah, you guys interested. You open for discussion. 
All right, we're open for discussion. I'm saying, okay, I'm going to put these talks on hold. I have a movie to make. I, ha I have to make the Zayn's movie first. But once I make the Zayn's movie and I finish filming the movie and I make money off my merch, I will give you guys a call and, and I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll further, we'll, we'll further the, the, the negotiation talks. So, Zara? We'll further the negotiation talks with the Matrix brand launch. And what I'll do is I'll print the Matrix script, Matrix Reloaded, Matrix Revolution script. And I'm going to have me and VJ study the script. And I might even have John Favreau, Nick Filoni, or whoever I hire. I might have those guys help me out. And we, we plan out the Matrix 4, we take our notes for the Matrix 4, we take all the notes, and we, we take a few notes for Matrix 5 and Matrix 6. And we go, we, we, me and VJ write out a plan for the Matrix brand. Okay, we want to sell shades. Shades, um, mugs, and posters for the for the Matrix merch. That's enough. I might perhaps sell toys. We'll see what happens. And we want to what? We want to make three Unreal Engine Five games, based off the three movies. And we want to do three Matrix sequel movies. We write out the plan. John Favreau and Tony can help me out. Vijay will be helping me out. We take notes. We study the script. We take notes for Matrix Four. I tell them ideas. They help me out. We we, we take notes for Matrix Five, Matrix Six. That way, when, that way when we go when we fly, to to the Warner Bros. office. In America, obviously, when we pitch to them, we have everything prepped. We're all prepped. Because Gary T. Davis asked, will ask me, Ivan, what is your plan for the Ma for the Matrix IP brand? I'm like, yeah, my plan is to do three sequels, three sequel movies, make three games based off the movies, on the Engine 5 technology. Like, our Matrix Awakens Live? Yeah, like, something like that. And and, and I'm going to sell merch. Mugs, shades, and and, 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 and what? And, 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 and posters and perhaps toys. Nice hot toys with all the characters for the for the Matrix brand. So I'm saying, Ivan, how much money you want? How much money? How much money? You, how much? How much? How much will it take, guys? Ivan, we'll, 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 we consider selling the brand for a good three million dollars, my guys. No, I'm not going to give you three million dollars or rip me off. I'll give you two point two million dollars for the rights. What I'll do is for the deal is you keep the rights for the original Matrix. So your your Enter the Matrix game, your Path of Neo game, your Enter the Matrix game, your Path of Neo game, obviously, and your original Matrix trilogy, and your Animatrix movie. That you you keep the rights for that. Was I I own the rights to 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 to, 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 to make the to, for the sequels, and I own the rights to all the new games released on PS6, the Unreal Engine 5 PS6 games, and I own the rights to the merch. To 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 to. to I own the rights to sell the merch, whereas you guys no longer own the rights for the merch. That's my deal. You want to keep animators, you keep animators. But for Resurrections, I want that deleted from from Canon. I don't want it a part of Canon. I have, you can still make your sequels without we, 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 my guys. I can't make the sequel without deleting Resurrections. Otherwise, it looks very unprofessional. You have Resurrections a part of Canon. You make the sequels. It'll be it'll be weird. It, 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 you have to do a reboot, which I'm not going to do. I'm doing it. My movie is a sequel to the originals. Hence, why you need to, to erase. Resurrections from the face of the map. Don't hate me, guys. You have to erase it, man. That movie was terrible. Resurrections failed to resurrect what the Matrix franchise. It was a failure. So I'm saying, it was a terrible movie. No, I have now. It's bad. Yeah, there's a reason why it would flop because it was terrible. So, guys, I have two terms. The first thing you have to get the Rakasi sisters on board to direct the three. I have to get the Rakasi sisters on board to direct my three movies. That's the first thing. If they're not on board, I'm not touching your major friends. I'll just do the Great Escape. Don't hate me, I'm saying. The second thing, you need to erase Resurrection from the face of the map. Yeah, but Ivan, we can't do that, man. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can do it, man. If you don't do it, I'm not going to give you $2.2 million. I'm giving you a good deal, guys. Ivan, what about three of them? I'm not going to give you $3 million. Your major's brand is not even near as big as Star Wars. George Lucas sold his Star Wars brand, you know what I'm saying, for four, for only $4 billion. Um, Disney ripped him off, obviously. He, 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 Star Wars is worth more than $4 million. You know, so they ripped George Lucas off with the deal, obviously, and they also fucked up his, his, his what? <laughs> they fucked up the sequels. <laughs> it's actually funny, I'm saying. Don't hate me, Disney, I'm saying. Yeah. The Star Wars brand was easily worth five, six, seven billion bucks. Because, because Disney's cheap, obviously, they gave George four billion bucks, obviously. And they, and they messed up the sequels. <laughs> it's actually funny. My guys, the Matrix brand is a big brand, but it's not even near as big as Star Wars. 
or Marvel. The, the list is, your movies did $1.5 million, and your games probably did a combined $700 million, and your merch probably sold maybe a couple hundred million dollars worth. Your brand's worth a good $1.8, $1.9 million. It's not worth $3 million to rip me off. My final offer is $2.2 million for the rights to make the three sequel movies, to make the three Unreal Engine 5 games and the merch, sell the merch, was you guys maintain the rights for the originals. I don't want to only rights for the originals. It's just more work for my team. No. You guys keep the rights for the originals. You keep the rights to animators. You can have animators if you want. It's, animatrix is not a part of the canon. So if you want to keep animatrix, you can keep animatrix. But Resurrections, I want that gone. I want it erased from the face of the map. I don't want a part of canon, man. It cannot be sold anywhere worldwide. It's a terrible movie. I want it gone, deleted. Yeah, but Ivan, we can't do that when we spend a lot of money on this. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. If you don't do it, I'm not going to give you $2.2 million, David Zaslov. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm giving you a good deal, Ivan. Yeah. And, and if they're not interested in something off the ground, I'm like, hey, David, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a sincere, honest question. What is your plan going forward for your Matrix franchise? You know what I'm saying? You guys can't afford to make Unreal Engine 5 games like me. You, if you made a $400 million game, you would lose money. You'd most likely lose money or make very little profit. You know, Ivan, we can't afford to make four hundred fifty million games. That's too expensive, yes. You can only put $100 million towards your games. And to make an Unreal Engine 5, like, full-on game, you have to put north of, like, $250, $300 million towards that. Because that Matrix Awakens demo probably didn't cost that much because it was, it was a quick demo. If you want to have a full Unreal Engine 5 game, like the whole game Unreal Engine 5, to process that Unreal Engine 5 technology, you need to, you need to put hundreds of millions towards your game, man. So if you want, yeah, I'm going to be, I'm, I'll be able to make Unreal Engine 5 quality games. Are you going to be in the game, Ivan? Yeah, I'm going to be in the game. Me and Vigil will be in the game. Michael B. Jordan will be in the game. Brie Larson, John Cezanci, Ben Affleck, and like Hell Berry or Scarlett Johansson, they're going to be in the game. Some Sarah. I might perhaps, Kate Beckinsale is also good for the movie too. And have her be Ben Affleck's uh, girlfriend or wife, whatever it is. You can have Hell Berry, Scarlett Johansson, and Kate Beckinsale compete for the job. To play the, the role of Ben Affleck's wife or something like that in the movie. Ben Affleck has a wife. He's a leader of Nebuchadnezzar Ben Affleck. You can do that. Have Ben Affleck being your major movie. Look at an amazing movie. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. It looks like amazing. You're looking at something amazing. Yeah, David, what's your plan going forward for your Matrix brand? Your Resurrection movie flopped. The stock of your Matrix brand is not looking too good right now, man. You know what I'm saying? You ran through the Matrix path of the new game. They sold pretty well. They sold about like 5 million copies. And your movie made a good what? The movie, the game's made a good animal. $350 million each. $400 million each. Good good sales, obviously. But like, like the brand's better off in my hands, guys. Y'all have it. It's better off in your hands. Yes, it's better off in my hands. You know what I'm saying? Because what, what story you guys... Oh, the only thing you guys can do is do prequels or reboot the franchise. But what story are you going to tell if you reboot the franchise? Are you going to tell the same story except with different characters? It's very tough to reboot a Matrix franchise. Because what story are you going to tell? Like, honestly, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, what's... I, I, can't, I can't think of any good story for a reboot. What story are you going to tell? It doesn't get any better than that story of the originals. What story are you going to tell? You could do prequels, obviously, but the prequels chances are the prequels are not going to be as good. Obviously, they'll be pretty. They won't be. The, they won't be the greatest movies. The story of Morpheus, the life of Morpheus before you found Neo and he, find, he he meets the Oracle, he finds the one is a little boring. It's not that great of a story. You you can tell a prequel story with Trinity or Morpheus, but will that be as good as my story? I don't think so. Some Zyra. You can't afford to make Unreal Engine five four fifty million dollar games. You'll most likely lose your money. Was I'll make my money back. I'll make my billions off the games too. For the games, I'll make maybe a couple billion bucks off that. There's maybe only 80, 100 million people will buy the games. And the rest will watch Rabbids walkthrough. Some say What's your plan going forward, guys, for the Matrix franchise? Yeah, I have in the brands for hands. Yes, the brand is better off in need. We just hands. And if you're not interested in selling off the rights, for the, for selling off the rights I'll just make the great escape. I'll make, I'll make her for movies. I have nothing to lose. Zara?
I have nothing to lose. I have nothing to lose. Samsara? Yeah. Here's the note. If I do the Matrix franchise, Keanu Reeves will no longer be the star of my movie. But I'll save him for the Matrix franchise, though. I'll save him for the first movie. I can have him go touring with me, and I can pay him a good, like, $1.8 million for a cameo appearance in the movie. But he will not be the star of my movie, so I'm saying. He's, he's, he'll, I'll have him have a small cameo appearance in the movie, and that's it. But I'll, I can have, I can still save him. I can have him watch all production. I'll invite him to the back carpet. I'll invite him to the, to the party. And I'll, I can even have invite him to the, to the world tour with me. But he will not be the star. It was a great escape. He'll be the star. And that's why Keanu Reeves is obviously hoping I do the Great Escape, whereas like like Michael B. Jordan, all of them are, and, and John Cena, we are hoping I do the Matrix. They want to be safe for longer. They want to be in. They want to be. In, they want. They want. They want to what? They want to be in that Matrix. Yeah, even though my like, greatest movie sounds amazing, Ivan's gonna kill us off. I'd rather be in that Matrix franchise. Yeah, you're in the Matrix. You're kicking ass. The agents are creepy and all. So the cops. Yeah, something amazing. But for the Matrix script, I for the Matrix script. I am not going to co-write it. I'm going to let the Wakanda sisters write that. Let, let my two script developers and the, and the Wakanda sisters write it. And I might hire a, a screenwriter who they know. Okay, who's, I'll ask Lana and, and, his, and his sister or brother, whatever it is. Who is the best screenwriter to help you guys write this script? Because the Wakanda sisters wrote the Matrix movies. Hence, they know the Matrix. They can, the Matrix script was a masterpiece, master, masterfully written. Hence why, I'm like, guys, you don't need my help. I'll just give you my ideas for the story. Take, I'll, I'll, I'll be in the room with you when you write the script. I'll have my notes with me, and I'll just give you some ideas, and you guys write. As after Zane's, I'm, I'm probably going to retire as a writer. I'm going to retire as a writer for, 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 for after Zane's. I'm just going to kick back and just focus on the producing, sign the contracts, the main things, and I'll just act with my wife. Me and Vijay can focus on producing and acting, and you hire professionals to write your script. For the Great Escape, I'm not touching that script either. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take my notes. I'll take my notes and I'll have a plan, a plan for the th for the three acts of the story. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the professionals do their thing. As CIA is too complicated for me to write. Fantasy I can write well, but CIA shit's complicated, man. And their unique is romance. Romance is, is easy. Like you, can, the, the the Catherine Harder, you can hire Catherine Harderick. You can hire um another screenwriter to help her write the script. You can have Catherine Harder and. Hire, hire the screenwriter who wrote Twilight, the first one, to help you write their unique if you want. And your two sort of us help them out. And I'll just sit right beside them and tell them my ideas. The Mages franchise is also complicated for me, too. Hence why what? But the cops have been telling me, Ivan, we need your help, man. You're very talented, man. Like, Guys, I don't, you don't need my help. I, I don't have time to do all this, man. I'm, I'm stressed out. I'm, gonna, I'm taking a break, man. You guys got to write the script. I'll be in the room with you. While you're writing, I'll, I'll take, me and Vijay can give, give you our ideas. And I'll give you my ideas and notes on stuff. I'll go over my notes and help you guys out. But you guys got to write the script. I'm saying. You have Lana and his sister or brother, whatever it is. You have them co-write it with, with John Favreau and Dave Filoni or Ryan Coogler, um, James Gunn, or whoever I hire, right? Peter Rice, perhaps. I might hire Peter Rice. I might hire maybe Peter Rice and maybe John Favreau instead of Dave Filoni. Because Dave Filoni doesn't have much experience running a company, that's the thing, but he's very creative. He has experience doing animation, right? You see what I'm saying? But Peter Rice is more expensive than Dave Filoni. Dave Filoni is cheaper. Dave Filoni would gladly work for my company for $15 million signing bonus and $2.1 million salary. Whereas Peter Rice would not accept $15 million signing bonus and a $2.1 million salary. No, he would ask for more money, obviously. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see who I hire, right? A lot of cats out there. Yeah, those are my two terms, David. If you don't agree to my terms, I'm not giving you $2.2 million. And I'll pay your $2.2 million in your American money, which is like $3.1 billion in Canadian money. I'm more than happy to pay you. I'm going to honor the deal. I'm going to pay your $2.2 million in your American, that way you get in your American dollar, which is like $3 billion in Canadian money. So I'm saying, that's, that's my final offer. I'm not going to hire That's a good deal. As the Matrix brand's only worth like $1.8 billion around there. It's not, it's not worth three. I'm not going to pay you $3 billion, guys. You're ripping me off. Ivan, have you thought of who you're thinking of casting? Yeah, 
I'm thinking of casting Michael B. Jordan to play the grand the, the grandson of Naomi and Morpheus. So it's like 70, 75 years after the after the uh, revolutions. And I'll do a thing where I might have Lawrence Fishburne and, and Naomi have uh, do a flashback of them. They're old. They're before they die. They're about to die. You have a flashback of them when they when, before they they die. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and you have Michael Jordan's parents. You can do that if you want. Lawrence Fishburne and Naomi and all of them are old. They're, they're about to die. They die of old age. Yeah. And you have the graves of Naomi and Morpheus, Trinity, and you look at an amazing movie, yeah, and Neo. But Neo and Trinity's body are not buried in Zion, whereas Morpheus and Naomi's bodies are buried, are buried in Zion. But Neo and, 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 and Trinity, they're, they're still honored that they're in the grave in, in, in Zion. Everyone knows all these guys were a part of the salvation of Zion. That's why everyone respects all these guys. But Neo failed. He could not defeat Smith, you know what Look at an amazing story. Yeah, Ivan, what's your idea for the story? Yeah, this is my idea. And I tell them and they're all shocked. Holy shit, Ivan. That sounds like a massive easy. Yeah, look at an amazing story. They'll even rival Zanus. It'll be better than the, than the Great Escape movie. The Great Escape movie, you can argue, be a more entertaining movie. But it's me and Vijay on the run kicking ass. But it's not as good as that Matrix story. That Matrix story is an amazing story. The Life of the One in the Matrix. Ivan, where'd you get the idea of the Life of the One in the Matrix? Yeah, and Reloaded when, when Neo wants to go see... The architect, obviously. When Neo wants to go see the uh, the architect, obviously. When Neo wants to go see the architect, obviously. Obviously, he what? You remember you saw the life his life displayed on all these multiple screens. That's where I got the idea. Okay, wouldn't it be cool to tell a story of the life of the seventh one in the in the, in the Matrix? How he's he's born. You get his life as a kid, teenager, an adult. He gets killed and he becomes the one and he kicks ass. And this one is the lucky one because he's the seventh one. And Neo was not the lucky one. He, he made a lot of errors. He wasn't too bright. That's why the Oracle said you're not too bright. Neo made a lot of errors. He took the door on the right when he could have taken the door on the left. He, he, he took the door on the left when he could have taken the door on the right to save Zion. He would have saved Zion right there and then. He wouldn't have had to, to fight Smith. And he ended up what? Going into the Matrix to save Trinity, obviously. And she ended up dying either way. He jumped into Smith. And Smith came back more powerful than Neo. Able to call himself. No longer unplugged in the Matrix. And the third movie, Neo let Smith copy himself onto him. And Smith became a part connected to Neo. And that's why the, virus, the program system was never fully destroyed. And that's how he was able to come back seven years later in the Matrix. That's like an amazing story, yeah. I know how to tell the story. I'm, I'm, I'm born with a gift. I even have an idea for the song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He is the one. Yeah. You are the one. Yeah. He is the one. Yeah. You are the one. Yeah. He is the one born inside. Yeah. He is the one born inside. Yeah. He is the one born inside. Yeah. Look at an amazing song. Yeah. I have, that's your idea for the song? I'm like, yeah, that's my idea for the song. What I might do is, let's say if I choose to do the Matrix trilogy and, and Warner Bros. is interested in selling off the brand, I'm going to hire a beat guy. I'm going to have him make that beat for me. Okay, I, I want it to be something like this. And he makes a beat for me and I show the Warner Bros. That's my idea for the song. And they're all blown away. Holy shit, I even, that's, that's an amazing song. It can make you cry, but it also pumps you up. Yeah, I don't want to tell a good story. But I told you, for the Matrix uh, movie, I'm not going to co-write it. I'm going to have the Wakala sisters do all that do all that for me. How I had the professionals handle it. But I'm going to be in the room with them, giving them my, going over my notes and giving them my ideas for the story. That way you help them out, obviously. But like, let them write the script, obviously. Okay, I'm going to kick back and just produce and act in this movie. You guys are going to co-write the script. You're going to co-write and you're going to direct it. And you're also going to execute produce. You're going to help me sign the contracts. And you're, 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 you know what I'm saying? You guys are going to help. You guys are going to be, you, you have them be your executive producers. Have the Wakala sisters be your executive producers. For the movie. Is there? Yeah. Now, sign Michael, Brie Larson, 
John Cazenzi, Paul Bettany, and all them to a massive deal for the for, for a, to a two to a three movie deal. And you guys already know how much money I'm willing to pay them. I'll pay them all. I'm willing to pay them a lot of money for the movie. Mike B. Jordan, all those guys, a lot of money for the movie, obviously. And if I do the Matrix trilogy, obviously, Mike B. Jordan and Brie Larson are going to be saved for like nine, ten years of their life. <laughs> like ten. Like ten years, something crazy. And after those 10 years, they're still going to beg, obviously, because they were used to being saved for long, a long time. Why, but can I be in your next trilogy? I'm like, no. I saved you for 10 years. This is good enough. I'm not saving you for any longer. You're, you're being selfish, guys. You guys are lucky enough to be saved for 9, 10 years of your life. That's enough. You're, you're going to go back to home and left behind. You got what you deserve. <laughs> yeah. You got what you deserve, man. Yeah. Hence why I have to have that talk with my wife. Hey, VJ, what do you want to do? Do you want to do their, that very unique romance story, The Great Escape, The Hidden Vampire Movie, and The Western Grand Sewer, or do you want to do The Matrix Trilogy instead? What what trilogy do you prefer? Oh, Ivan, let's do The Matrix Trilogy, you know what I'm saying? Ivan, let's do The Great Escape. I don't want to do The Matrix, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll see what happens, obviously. Because The Matrix, me and VJ are going to be lovers in the movie, obviously. Like, VJ, even though you want to do that amazing romance, their unique romance story, me and you are going to be lovers in the movie, obviously. You know how Keanu Reeves and Carrie on Moss were very intimate, you know what I'm saying? Remember how when they were in the elevator, they got things to do, and as soon as they close the elevator, they start kissing each other like hardcore? Yeah, I think something crazy would happen to me and Vijay, because we're lovers, obviously. Yeah, this has been crazy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Vijay, me and you are going to be lovers in the movie, too. We're going to be lovers in the, in the Matrix movie, obviously. You're going to be my love to be in the movie. I'm there. Vijay will be my love to be in the movie, obviously. So, BJ, what do you want to do? I don't know, Ivan. Mean, that's tough. I want to do... I want to do those f four movies. At the same time, I want to do that major trilogy so bad, Ivan. Mean, yeah. BJ, to make it easier for us, Warner Bros. can own the rights... To make it easier for my team, Warner Bros. keeps all the rights for the original trilogy, Animatrix... And Path of Neo and and, and Path of Neo and and, and, and and Enter the Matrix game. They keep all the rights for that. For all that, obviously. Whereas me, we own the rights for the merch and the rights to make the see the sequel movies and the rights for the all, all the all the all the new all the new games. We own the rights to all that. For the, the, the all the new PS6 uh Unreal Engine 5 games. We own the rights to that. Whereas Warner Bros. owns the rights. So you guys can still sell the originals. Around the world on, 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 on YouTube, Amazon, retail stores. You guys own the rights to that. Obviously. Licensing it to, on Netflix, also HBO Max. You own the rights to that, obviously. And then the Enter the Majors and Path of New Game. We own the rights to the sequels, the merch, and then the, and the, and the, and the, and the new games that are going to be released. So if Warner Bros. wants to do a remake... A remake of Enter the Matrix and, and Path of Neo. They own the rights to all that. They, they, they All that money goes to them. With all the new games that are coming out, all the money goes to us because um, um, we own the rights to it. We own the rights to, 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 the, to the games that are connected to the sequels. And we own the rights to the sequels and the merch. Now, I'm more than happy to do a sale for Warner Bros. for Resurrections before it gets deleted. Don't hate me. I'm more than happy to do a sale for Warner Bros. for, for the Matrix before, before it gets for the Matrix Resurrections. I can, I can I can post links to my website. You can do a 40%, 30% sale on YouTube, on Amazon, and all the retail stores worldwide where the movie's sold. This is your last chance to own Resurrections before it gets to leave from the face of the map. And good, chances are a couple million people will buy it. You, can, you guys can make some good money for it. You can make a couple hundred million bucks. Right, that's very kind of you. Yeah, I'm more than happy to do a nice sale for you. You do a nice sale before you delete Resurrections from the face of the map. Obviously, so you can do a nice, you can do, what I'll do is I'll have Warner Bros. do a sale for all all the merch that, 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 that I don't need. You can have them do a sale for all the merch that I don't need before it gets erased, obviously. They can do a sale for, for, for what? For, 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 for the, ad, for the, ad, for, 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 they can do a sale for, for Resurrections. Even Animatrix 2. Yeah, even the originals if they want. They don't have to sell for the originals because they, they, they own the rights to the originals. So guys, I don't want to handle your 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 your, your animators and, and originals. You guys own all the rights to that. I want the rights to make the sequels. 
and I want the rights for the games and the merch. The only merch I want to sell, I'm going to have the contract. The only merch I want to sell is posters, shades, mugs, and I might perhaps sell toys. I own the rights to that and my three Unreal Engine 5 games based off the movies and, and the three sequel movies. Whereas you guys own all the rights to the originals, Enter the Matrix, Path of Neo, and Animatrix. But at Resurrections, I want that deleted. I don't want it a part of canon. Animatrix is not part of the three movie canon, so you can keep that keep that if you want. You don't have to delete that, even though it's a terrible movie, you know what I'm saying? But Resurrections, I want that gone, man. It has to be deleted from the face of the map, man. That was a terrible movie. Guys, I can't fix your story. I can't make tell my sequel with this mess. You need you need to what? Delete this 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 this, this garbage from the face of the map, man. It's a terrible movie. I don't want it a part of canon, you know what I'm saying? It's a terrible movie. I don't want a part of Cadmus, huh? I don't want it a part of Cadmus. <laughs> yeah, the good. I, I don't think I can talk for another thirty minutes, guys. I'm a little tired. I might just make a one hour, one hour, ten minute video here, and I'll upload it. Now, oh, sorry, I'll watch it on my TV for you guys, and I'll upload the video later on today. When I wake up, and I'm gonna go to bed after this video, and I'm gonna sleep in. And tomorrow, t today, I'm gonna clean the house for forty dollars. Clean, clean the walls in my house, like thorough cleaning for the walls for forty bucks, which is enough for like four days worth of smokes. I have enough till Sunday, and I get my check next Wednesday, Tuesday, or perhaps Monday. I can get my beer and smokes again. I might, I might get some Subway, some nice Subway for myself. Yeah. So that's my final offer for David Zaslav for Warner Bros. If he's still CEO by then, because most CEOs only most CEOs in Hollywood after a couple of years they they, re, they get replaced, right? So David Zaslav perhaps might not be CEO by then, but if he is CEO by then, I'm gonna give him a call. Then once if the deal is finalized, obviously we sign that contract. I give him two point two million dollars. I now own the rights to make the sequels, to, to make all the new games based off my my sequel movies and the merch, obviously. I can I can par it up with the with the Warner Bros. executives. And we celebrate. And I'll be trying online too. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why looking at an amazing movie for that Matrix franchise, man. All the execs and the no cops are gonna be shocked. Holy shit, I mean, that's a masterpiece. Sign me up. I wanna be a part of this fucking trilogy, yeah. And the Kyle sisters suppose we never want to touch Matrix again. That's why you gotta offer them an unheard amount of money that they can't refuse and you sell them with your story. That's why I'll get them on board, obviously. Anyways, if this video, I'm tired. I'm gonna shut this camera off. I'm gonna enjoy the video hours for you guys. I'll upload later on today. It's Ivan Mary. I'm signing out. Peace.